What's going on everybody? I am in the shop today. First of all, welcome back to the channel. I am Trevor with Maker Experiment. Today is an exciting day, which is why I completely went off guard with the intro. But I got a new toy in. This is kind of a collaboration partnership type thing going on. So full disclosure, I did not pay for this. I am getting it on loan so that I can do some videos and some content with it. So it will be going back. It is not mine. I just get to play with it for a little bit, which is super exciting. I'm going to show you a little bit about what it is before my friend gets here to help me unbox it, just because it's too big for just me. So here we go. So this is the new toy. So it's maybe three feet by two feet or so. So it is all, you know, on a pallet, crated up. It's pretty heavy, a uh, couple hundred pounds probably. And then with that came this. So if you know who this is, you already know where I'm going here. But I am super excited because I get to play with a new toy. So right now it's brand new, just released, super exciting. I can't wait to actually open it, see what it looks like, because I have no sneak peek of this. So this machine is on loan, like I said, I'm going to have to send it back at some point, but I get to make some video content with it, which is super cool. And another car. I cannot win. Other than being told the model name and a few things about what it does, uh, I haven't seen any pictures of it yet. And this is actually a beta machine. So this one is actually coming to me early and I, I, I just don't know how to contain excitement because this doesn't get to happen a lot. And I feel very fortunate that Epilogue is trusting me enough to work with me and being able to do things with them will open up a lot of doors with the channel and what I'm able to produce. So with that being said, I am going to wait for my friend to get here, which is Ken from Legacy Woodworking Las Vegas. So give him a follow on Instagram if you haven't yet. Uh, he's going to help me set this bad boy up. And hopefully it, it might take a day or two for me to like fully get set up here. I got to move a bunch of stuff around. But when I come back, you'll get to see exactly what's in that box.
Now that you've seen me unbox the machine, let me show you some close-ups. Over on the left, we just have a logo panel and it's got stuff behind it in case you need to access part of the machine. In the back, there is an exhaust port in the middle that I already plugged the exhaust into and access to cleaning and the laser tube source are in the back as well. On the front, this panel will come off. Again, this is a pre-release machine, so this front panel may change a little bit, but this is how you can clean out the bottom and the crumb tray and everything else. It is called the Fusion Edge. So if you didn't catch it before, the Fusion Edge is actually replacing the Mini 24. Then on the top, these black spots are just the hinges. This spot is for the camera. So this camera here is going to be an artwork placement camera. It is not a registration dot camera. So this is going to be one where you can drag your artwork onto whatever you are machining and see it in the job manager. That way you can tell where you're going to be engraving that artwork. And there is a way to calibrate it to make sure that it is okay. It should come calibrated to you straight from Epilogue if you do buy it. But I am gonna do a video on how to calibrate it just so you see how that is. You also see once I open the lid, it has a clean track style system. It's got these little baffles here that help protect the motors and screws and everything else from grime. Then you have the Z axis on four different spots as well. You got the rulers to help position everything the same every time. So this doesn't move anywhere. It's actually held down to the bottom. One thing here is it only comes with a vector table now and you'll actually see that there is a support rod going through it in multiple spots to help make it sturdier. And the coolest part about the table so far that I have seen is that it is magnetic. So if you have a material that's super thin or lightweight that for some reason isn't being held down well enough, you can use magnets and actually stick it to it and hold it down a little bit better. Kind of like a, a nice cheap clamping system. This port is going to be for the rotary attachment, but other than that, everything else is kind of protected and out of the way. There's no linear encoder strip, so cleaning that is no longer necessary. You will see the laser head. On the laser head, you will see this cone, and this cone actually depresses for autofocus. So the autofocus on this is really easy to use, and I'll be covering that in a different video at some point. This section may change with the cover panel and everything, but other than that, this machine should be just like the ones that are available for sale and are released. You also have the cable track. You will see I've already put some hours on this thing. So I got this machine for testing and at the same time I got the machine, I got two jobs that were actually pretty significant in laser time. This machine has been set up for about five days maybe. And I have already put about 30 hours of engraving on it. So it has already seen a lot of engraving and it's worked pretty well. As I use this more, I plan to be totally honest and transparent with you guys as far as what I like and what I don't like. So full disclosure, Epilogue did send me the machine. I did not pay for it. However, I don't get to keep it. I do have to send it back at some point. We're going to be partnering on some videos where I just make content with it and basically do what I've been doing with my larger Fusion machine. I just get to try it out on the smaller Fusion Edge. Over on the right side, you'll see that there's an exhaust control, so you will have the ability to control an exhaust fan or system kind of like this filter. There's a USB connection here that connects with a printer cable. This USB port is actually for firmware updates. Then you have the ethernet port, and then you have all the status symbols. You will see that it has fiber on here. So this machine does not have fiber. It's going to be basically the same machine can be used for CO2 or fiber laser sources. 
to help reduce the different skews and things like that. So you will see the fiber status on there, but it's not going to apply unless you actually buy it as a fiber laser machine. As far as I know, this will only be available as a 30 watt fiber. Uh, it will also be available as a 30, 40, 50, or 60 watt CO2. The version I have here is actually a 60 watt CO2 source, which is the same exact wattage as my other one. For anyone that wants to know the cost of this machine, the starting retail price is actually going to be $13,500 for this type of model, depending on what wattage you get. And in this case, I have the 60 watt model and that one is going to retail for $18,500. And moving from the lights down to the bottom, we have the power cable, we have the power button, and then down here, tucked behind everything, is the air compressor connection. So what I'm gonna do is turn this on. So once it starts to load, this is what it's going to look like. So it is a seven inch touch screen, so you will be able to do everything on here, except for make it go, which is going to be this button. So it's gonna go through the configuration process and then it'll pop up. The other thing is once it turns on, it's going to lower the bed down to a limit switch and then it's going to raise it back up exactly how much it lowered it so that it's back in the position you left it at, which is a good upgrade from the old machine. So you'll see here that I actually have some jobs already on it. So a cool feature I like about this machine is I can actually save jobs to it. But this is what the interface looks like. I'm not gonna dive into that too much just yet, uh, but it is nice that it's touchscreen so I can just go here go to the different menus and go through the system or the network, whatever I need to do. And then by hitting the four lines at the top, I go back to my job screen. But I wanted to share what the machine looked like, taken out from unboxing and everything else. I am going to be doing videos on setting it up and getting it connected so that you know how to do that if you happen to get one. I'm also going to be going deeper into the machine for some of the videos. But what I wanna know is what videos you wanna see on this machine, as well as future videos that you wanna see. So do you wanna see a comparison of the old machine versus this one? Do you wanna see a deep dive into this one? I wanna know what you'd like to see because that'll make sure that I'm making videos that all of you would like to watch and enjoy. I do want to thank Epilogue for sending the machine here so that I can check it out and test it and play with it ahead of time. It's really cool to be able to do this and I feel very fortunate that I'm given this opportunity. And I want to make sure that all the videos that I'm doing are beneficial for all of you. So make sure you put in the comments below what you want to see or if you have questions about it, let me know that as well and I will try to get answers for you. But that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram or through email. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with more videos on this machine as well as my other machine as well over the next few months. And be sure to turn on the notifications so you know when the new videos come out. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Maker Experiment where I'm going to be sharing pictures, and different things along the way of the machine and answering questions and then asking questions about what videos you wanna see and different types of polls. So be sure to follow me over there. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.